Okay, terror management theory is is a huge subject, and it's very difficult to condense it down into two minutes because I won't even be scratching the surface on it. But I'll try and simplify it into into a nutshell. Death is a frightening reality, but it's it's one all of us ultimately have to deal with, isn't it? Death is an integral part of any life cycle. It's the final conclusion of the story of all living organisms on Earth. And as humans, we are naturally predisposed towards self-preservation and survival. And this is why death threatens us. We are the only species who actively fears death. The realization of the reality of death as something which can occur at any time is one that fills most humans with abject terror. And terror management theory is a socio-evolutionary theory about how we as humans deal with this terror associated with the threat of death. It was developed by uh, three social psychologists, Jeff Greenberg, Sheldon Solomon, and Tom Pazinski. And the theory proposes that it is the human attempt to manage this terror, which manifests itself in societies building religious systems and cultural frameworks, which attempts to explain the significance of life, the purpose of our existence, and in some cases also promote the idea of an afterlife, for example, like heaven or hell or reincarnation. Basically anything that stops the terror of this abrupt finality. And these cultural worldviews or and religious systems then serve to relieve those anxieties which would otherwise be associated with the the reality of mortality. In other words, the terror of death drives entire societies to adopt worldviews, which would not only protect their self-worth, but enable them to believe in the meaningfulness and significance of, of their own lives and, and of the world in general. And terror management theory proposes that people have this inherent need to insulate themselves from their hugely deep fear of living an insignificant life destined to be eventually erased by death. And this fear is then addressed by means of, you know, a very strong identification with a religious belief or a cultural group, something larger than ourselves and through which we will supposedly continue to live on after death. This does, however, often result in displays of prejudice based on the belief that the group with, with which one identifies is superior to others. We then typically respond to people with different beliefs by berating them or trying to convert them to our belief system. And if none of that works, then just killing them. And in doing so, we assert that my God is stronger than your God. My belief is superior to your belief. My culture is better than yours. My way of life is better than yours. And that's, that's essentially what uh, terror management theory is. But as I said, that just l quite literally scratches the surface. If you want to, if you want to learn more about it, I suggest that you, that you go and research um, on Google with one of these three sociologists, you know, be very careful what you read on Google or on YouTube, because a lot of it, like anything else on the internet, is a lot of crap. So it's better to actually... Um, Dr. Solomon, for example, has made many, many videos. His are probably the best ones to watch. He's very informative and he's really interesting. So, um, so yeah, do that if you want to learn more about it.